Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to the vlog. We had to buy a brand new vlogging camera. So this is our past one that we had. We had the Canon G7X. That is what we are currently filming on again. I guess the newer version of them. But we're gonna be doing a vlog today. So welcome to the studio vlog. First off, can we just have a moment? Because this workspace is a disaster. So I'm gonna prop you guys up. We're gonna clean up some of this mess first because I'm a firm believer and I work best when my area is clean and tight. And then we're gonna give you guys kind of some updates, show you some new product, and then we're gonna get to work. literally 10,000 times better. So much easier to work now. Okay, so we are in the process of adding a bunch of new products to our shop. So we have some new t-shirts that we have been launching and listing. So I needed to get some of the prints made. We have like a local person that does the transfers for us and then we put them on the items. So let me show you guys. So this is one that I picked up yesterday. This is gonna be in our shop by the time you guys see it. It says, I told my therapist about you. Isn't that hilarious? And then we did a test print on it yesterday on our pink tees isn't that so cute i'm obsessed with that so i need to list this today probably photograph it as well and then we're gonna do some other t-shirt sample tests too because i need to do those something else i need to get listed today is this kind people are my kind of people sticker and also this pink and white kind of retro wavy grid mouse pad which is super cool we made this one in-house we actually make like the majority of the things in our shop in our in-house like these were made by us and then of course the t-shirts are pressed by us like i said the transfer is made by someone else so here is some transfers i need to cut i need to cut these sheets out because this has two designs and then this has a lot of like logos on it that need to be cut out and trimmed so i'm gonna do that with you guys I need to trim off some of the excess for when they get like pushed onto the shirt. Just makes it a lot easier. These are a bunch of our logos. So this goes on to basically the inside of the shirt. So we have a bunch of little ones of those as you can kind of see here. And then we have the I told my therapist about you design. So that one has already been tested. So we don't have to test that. I do need to test these. We also have our dolly one. How cute. This is going to go on a sweatshirt and a t-shirt, I think. So I do want to test that one today as well. We've got a cute little Halloween one ready to go. It says, let's go, cool. So adorable. I love the little ghost down him. Look at him. He's wearing a cute little hat. So I want to test that one today. And then we've got two of these that say, text me when you get home. We say this all the time, me and my family members and like friends and stuff. So of course I had to get two of those made. So they're two ready to go. One can be saved obviously for later whenever an order comes in, but one I do want to test. So we're gonna test these today. I also need to get this design listed. So I need to make a mock-up of it and list that in the shop. This one is already listed. So that one's good to go. I just need to do a test. This one's listed as a sweatshirt so far, but I want to also list it as a shirt. And then I think we're gonna test on a shirt today. So we're gonna do all of that because I want all these to be listed. If you guys like any of these designs and you want to check them out, they will be listed in the shop by the time this vlog goes up. So I'll have it linked in the description box below for you guys to go and check out. But let's go ahead and make a mock-up for the two designs that I wanted to get listed onto the shop and then we'll do some pressing of the designs. Now that I 
have the designs finished from Photoshop. So I went through and like edited the designs onto all of these different mock-ups. This saves me time from having to like create every product and then photograph it, which is great. Then I'm gonna go on over to Etsy and our Shopify page. So I upload everything onto Etsy first as a listing. And then we have a lovely little integration on our Shopify page, bring everything over from Etsy. And then we can do the same thing over onto our wholesale website so that we can do that. Okay, so I just got the listings up on Etsy, so I'll show you guys what those look like. Here is the text me when you get home sweatshirt. Really, really cute. I love these new mock-ups I got for that. And then we have the Dolly Parton one now in a graphic tee, which is so cute. Like, I literally love this model. She's like one of my faves. And this girl, oh my gosh, they're both literally stunning. <laughs> so it makes it so perfect. Like how cute are those? Now that those are on Etsy, I can import them through my Shopify little program. So I'm going to go into that and we're going to transfer those products over. So I just got those up on our Etsy website. What I'm doing now is going through and making sure that pricing looks good. They're set to sell on all of our different channels that we have, like on Facebook for Instagram and all that kind of stuff making sure they're all in the correct collection so that they filter properly onto our website and getting them ready. Once all that is done, I can then transfer them over to our wholesale website. And our wholesale website is something that we're currently growing a lot. We want to continue to build up over time, which is super exciting. So if you are a boutique or somebody and you really love our products and you want to sell them in your own shop, you can check out our wholesale website as well. I'll have it linked down below along with our regular website. So if you guys want to go check that out, they look good here on our website. So so what I'm gonna do is turn you guys around and show you what I'm doing. So this is what it looks like on the back end for people's boutiques and websites. We have our three newest listings here and I need to update these titles. This one I think I can do because I already listed it onto our wholesale website. I like to leave it until we list it, list it on our wholesale website because of the keywords that I tend to include. So that one is good. Let's go ahead and refresh our wholesale website page and see if I can import any no there's so many keywords here oh my gosh okay so this is currently our website and i just got the items up so i want to just double check that they're under graphic tees and that they look good and they're not showing up under graphic tees so that tells me that we have somehow managed to put them into the wrong collection so basically what i need to do is go into my navigation and i need to fix this because that's gonna be a pain if I don't get it fixed. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, here we go. Now I'm seeing all of the t-shirts. Let's make sure that all of, whoa, didn't mean to zoom in, all of our sweatshirts are added. They are not. So again. Okay, so I know I've been doing a ton of this computer work, but I officially got the sweatshirts fixed. So now all of our sweatshirts are available. You can see sweatshirts and hoodies. That looks good. Our graphic tees are also fixed, which is great. Then I want to just make sure. Okay, yes, our stickers looking real cute. We only have two right now, but we're getting there. Phone cases are looking good. We've got all those. Stationery is all good. That's correct. We do have all of our bags. Our tote bags and the coin purses are on here. Jewelry. Yep, that's up to date. Then we've got drinkware. Right now we just have this really cute water bottle. And then we have hats, which is a singular hat and then we have hair accessories which I need to add some more listings of that today but I think I'm gonna do that later probably off the vlog so you guys have seen so much of this already so the website is looking real cutesy wootsy I'm gonna turn on the heat press and pull out my little instructions and we are going to do some pressing of some new shirts but I have a box of blank sweatshirts and t-shirts I need to get out of the car so let's go get that giant box that we need to take inside. Oh, so heavy. 
So I end up getting a ton of different blanks because I'm also gonna be shooting some mock-ups. So we got this light blue hoodie. These are all oversized though, so I could do a specific style. A bell and canvas, Heather Peach. Bell and canvas, Heather Raspberry. Orchid, I think is what that color's called. We've got white. I don't remember this one, but it's kind of like a mauve color. Really pretty, kind of Heather teal. Oh, dusty Heather blue. My fave. Dusty Heather Red. This is also like a dark Heather Purple. And then we've got a ton of Gildan sweatshirts. We've got, I think this is sand, white, and pink. And then we've got comfort colors. Oh, we've got more Gildan sweatshirts down below. We've got the pink hoodie, and we've also got the white hoodie. Look at that, so many cute colors. Okay, we are about to heat press a shirt. So my heat press is all heated up and ready to go. I'm gonna do a shirt we're gonna do just a pink shirt and we're gonna do the dolly parton design first kind of want to make some content out of this for social media so i'm gonna prop this giant stick up okay so the first thing i always do is i press the shirt to get any moisture and wrinkles out grab our design here we're gonna do the dolly one perfect let's see if dolly fits on here without having to move the shirt she sure does, of course she does, cause she's perfect. We are going to press it. Okay, now this design needs to cool off before we peel it. So I'm gonna take it off its little heat press and let it cool down for a second and then we'll peel it. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I love when things peel perfectly. Beautiful. So now that this is done, we need to repress it one more time. All right, perfect. In. Yay. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Here we go. Oh my gosh, tell me that is not the cutest thing you've ever seen. This is on a large comfort color, so these shirts run pretty big. I'm obsessed. Like, do I need to steal this one for myself? I might. That is so cute on the color pink. I love that. Okay, and I do have a pink sweatshirt, so I can do a test of the text me when you get home design. So I think we're going to do that next. Now it's ready for the, the design. We're gonna do the text me when you get home. Obviously, you guys can tell I am recording some content as well because we do post on TikTok and Instagram like every single day. <laughs> um, we literally post so many TikToks every day. We try and shoot for like three a day at minimum. So that's really what we've been going for. Make sure you guys are following us though on TikTok and on Instagram. It's at Cotswold and Co. We also have a Pinterest page. Follow us everywhere, babes, because we've got we've got you covered on like every social media platform you could want. I think I'm gonna do one more design after this, the Let's Go Ghouls, and we're gonna do it on a white tee, so I'll show you guys. So let's go pick it out. Up here is currently a bunch of our inventory, but in the back is our t-shirt. So I think I'm gonna do it just on a white tee. Let's see what size this is. A small, sure. Let's do it on a small. So we're gonna grab the shirt and kind of get this over here and prep it so that we can peel this. It's almost cooled, so um, then we can heat press this and then we'll move on to the third shirt. Keep pressing it multiple times is so that your design is going to stay on there and it's going to last a lot longer especially through all of your washes and things like that ensuring that nothing comes off of the designs as you guys can see from this kind of video we do not use heat transfer vinyl so the best part about our designs is yes that we do hand press them like in-house in our studio they are not made with heat transfer vinyl if you've ever gotten like a t-shirt and it had vinyl on it sometimes the vinyl like it crinkles and it wrinkles really easily and it's not going to last through your washes these are like deep 
pressed into them so we use like a special transfer that goes on to them and it digs deep into the fibers of the t-shirts and sweatshirts and tote bags so that you can wash it a ton of times and you're going to be able to wear it kind of very similar to the shirt that i'm like wearing today this one is a little bit different it's pretty much the same concept like you're not even really going to be able to feel the raised version of the shirt because it really digs deep into the fibers that's why we press it twice so that one gets the design onto the shirt or the sweatshirt. And then the second press is to make sure that those the, the color and the transfer is digging deep into the fibers of the shirt and the sweatshirt so that it looks like really good quality. So here we have this one. It says text me when you get home. We just appreciate the design for the moment. I love this. It turned out so good and it looks so great on this light pink color. So I'm gonna fold this. We're definitely going to take a photo of that later and use some of that for social media content On our to-do list was to make some stickers that say your order was packed on TikTok because we do like to film basically like packaging our orders and then share those as videos on TikTok. So I'll show you guys what I came up with. So I ended up making the design myself. So this was the design that I ended up creating. It looks super washed out. Any it it's not doing its thing real well. So it's purple with a little pink and it says your order was packed on TikTok and then... I went ahead and pulled it over here to the computer so that we can get it printed. And then I'm going to cut it on my silhouette. So I'll zoom in so you guys can actually see it on here a little better. You can see kind of the true colors. I literally love this. It says your order was packed on TikTok. I love the font. It has these cute little flowers in it. So I thought that would be really cute and girly. So we're going to print this and then we're going to send it over here to the silhouette machine and get it cut out. This thing is going to literally spit out. There we go. No, they catch it. And I'm gonna turn this kind of into a TikTok and Instagram video also. That'll be really cute for when we're packing orders. I think people will really, really like these. And the actual process of making it is also content. <laughs> These ended up turning out perfect. I'm really happy. I should have done them kiss cut on like a sheet so that I could just easily peel them off and place them on an order. Your order was packed on TikTok. So I'm gonna pick all of these off of here and set them aside and yeah. All right guys, it's a little bit later and I wanted to show you guys some new items <laughs> that are in our shop. So I need to take some photos of them. So I thought I'd show you guys while I'm kind of laying them out. We ended up ordering some clips to go in our shop, which I'm so excited about because they're absolutely adorable. I literally have one in my hair right now. How cute. I love it. And we have like so many, like here's the first layer. <laughs> that's off of that now you can actually see the colors and other ones also mom and i got news that we got accepted to our first um market we're gonna be doing a girl tribe event so if you are in charlotte and you know what girl trap is you know kind of a big deal it's like a really big market and they do it like every year multiple times a year and they're super big and busy and really really cool and i'm very excited about it but we got accepted to that so i think that is the last weekend of september it's on september 24th in charlotte so look out for the info on that because we will be there in person selling and it's gonna be so exciting okay so here are our new claw clips some of these are already listed on the shop and they're going to be listing more like every single day so um probably by the time you guys see this vlog they will be listed we have the little hot pink flower one it's kind of got this like orange tint to the rest of it but so cute and then that also comes in this really pretty light pink color 
color. And then we have these bubble ones here. They do come in black, this pretty cream color, really cute like Kelly green and a hot pink, of course. So we got those. These ones we have a lot of, so I'm really excited about them. And then we have this style of clip, which we have a few of as well. They're really, really big. You can kind of see them like compared to the other ones, they're huge. So they're gonna be great for people who have like really thick hair. We have a dark purple one. I love the color of that. We also have a really pretty kind of light pink, almost like a light peachy nude. And then we have this one. It has all of these really pretty little flowers on it. So you've got pink, purple, blue, and some yellow ones. I like that it's clear with the flowers. I think that's kind of different than just like a plain color. So I love that. I'm about to take a photo of all of these kind of like grouped together for a little group shot for the website so that we can have it listed as like one of our banner photos. But again, all of these will be listed in our shop soon. And we're gonna actually have more hair clips coming out soon in our shop. We just placed another order for a big batch of them to come. So I'm really excited to see those. Okay, now I'm gonna take these over here to our little photo studio and do them over here. This is our kind of little photo section here. Here's a little sneak peek. There you guys go. But seriously, are these hair clips not the cutest thing ever? Alrighty guys, so I think the rest of the day I'm just gonna work on getting some new listings up in the shop and just posting some of those things and working on computer stuff. So honestly, nothing too exciting. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. Right here on the screen for you guys, I'm gonna link the last one that we did as well as the entire playlist full so that you guys can go and watch those after this one, of course, if you wanna just binge watch some more fun ones. And down here, you're gonna find my subscribe button so you guys can stick around for more videos. Without further ado, that brings us to the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye, y'all.